Hi guys, hi everyone, welcome to my first season and first episode of The Insights of Podiatry. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, welcome. My name is Devon Pogli and if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me once again. As you already saw from the title, today we're going to be talking about podiatry, better known as podiatric medicine, BTEC podiatry, or Bachelor of Health Science in Podiatry. We're going to be focusing on what podiatric medicine is, which institution offers this program. We're also going to be focusing on duration of study, criteria or admission requirements, and clinical side or practical side of podiatry and most importantly we're going to be looking at career opportunities that are related to um, podiatry so if you're interested please do watch till the end and do give this video a big thumbs up if you have any questions related to podiatry please leave them on the comment section so let's just get started with the first episode of the insights of podiatry Podiatric medicine is a branch of medicine that deals with the examination, diagnosis, prevention, rehabilitation, as well as treatment and management of human lower limb conditions. These conditions may include your dermatological conditions, nail conditions, your hyperkeratotic lesions, sports injuries, and other underlying systemic conditions that may affect your lower limb. Podiatric medicine also focuses on prescribing and manufacturing food orthotic devices for various food biomechanical conditions. Holders of this degree are referred to as podiatrists. The University of Johannesburg remains to be the only institution in Africa to offer this program. Podiatry was established more than 35 years ago and was offered at the former Technicon Fat Factors Red as BTEC Podiatry. However, this program is currently offered at the University of Johannesburg as Bachelor of Health Science in Podiatry. Students have a maximum of six years to complete a four-year degree, meaning that podiatry is a full-time four-year degree. However, you have six years to complete this program. You need a minimum APS of 28 and the subjects they're going to be looking at are your English, Mathematics, Physical Sciences as well as your Life Sciences. Within these subjects you need to have a minimum percentage of 50. In English you need to have a minimum percentage of 60. Within your first year of study, students get to play doctor-patient with each other at the UJ Podiatry Clinic. They do not get to see real-life patients. Within your second year of study, students get to see real-life patients only at the UJ Podiatry Clinic. These patients will mainly complain of your nail conditions such as your onychomycosis, onychogryphosis, onychoxis, and they may also complain of your hyperkeratotic lesions such as your cons and your calluses as well as your tinea pedis or your varicose pedis. As a second year student, you will need to be able to treat and manage these conditions. Within your third year of study, students are exposed to a broader settings in clinics at hospitals at home for the age. So basically students will be seeing patients at different hospitals. So those hospitals will be your Shalat Matreke Johannesburg Academic Hospital as well as your Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital. Students will also see patients at 
the old age homes or home for the aged thus would include your Frederick's place moving on to your fourth and final year of study students are now exposed to a broader and more complex settings at clinics and hospitals and community clinics fourth year students will be seeing patients at hospitals as well as community clinics so these hospitals would include Trisani Baragwana Academic Hospital, Yoshalak Matrege Johannesburg Academic Hospital, Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital, as well as Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital. And your community clinics would include your Alex and Reverie. The qualification will grant holders the ability to register with the HPCSA as the independent practitioners. Therefore, you can open your own practice or clinic as an independent practitioner. Other career opportunities may include lecturing and tutoring at the UJ Podiatry Department, becoming an orthotic lab assistant. Others open their orthotic lab and manufacture food orthotic devices. If you know any opportunities related to this program, do comment them down below on the comment section. If you really enjoyed watching this video, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you have questions related to this program, do leave them on the comment section and I will politely answer all of your questions. Thank you so, so much for watching my first episode of the Insights of Podiatry. I really appreciate you guys getting this far. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys on my next episode where we'll be talking about first year of study as a podiatry student. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next one.